hey lovelies welcome back to another video how are you all doing hope you all are doing amazingly great as always let's tell almighty god thank you for another bright beautiful and glorious air growth day so lovelies today i'm back again with another amazing effective super duper air growth butter guys this butter out here no air problem can resist it is extremely beneficial to our end if you are having badness shady if you are having scalp issue if you are having split end and breakage if your hair is not growing if you want thicker darker and longer air growth if you want to grow your hair extremely faster using natural ingredient then i urge you all guys this one out here is for june all you have to do is to apply two to three times weekly for effective result so in case you are interested to know how to make it you know what just keep on watching <laughs> the first thing i will need i will need my blender guys yes every time i get so many comments about not having a blender but sometimes you will need a blender then i will need my spinach guys have you tried spinach on your hair before okay let me bring this one out here to you when it comes to our hair spinach has so many amazing benefits one it has folate it has iron vitamin c vitamin a it helps strengthen our hair strength conditions your hair nourishes the hair for healthy and faster hair growth when it comes to the amount guys there's no specific amount and if you can get your hands on baby spinach you are good to go as well then i will need my glove you all know glove helps in conditioning the air stimulating the air treat our skin cap and promote thicker healthy and faster air growth now i'm going in with my oil face all right when it comes to the oils any one of your choice the one you love the one you have guys you must not use all i'm using if you have only one of them add you are good to go you all know i love me some sunflower oil but once in a while i mix them up with extra virgin with soya oil with almond oil with rice oil like what have you so any one you know you have just add my lovelies you are good to proceed right now we are going to blend everything into a smooth consistency all right guys if you don't have a blender if you can get spinach powder you are good to go to mix it up with glove powder infuse it then you are good to proceed in making your own butter but i urge you all try the fresh spinach uh, oh my gosh you are going to love it uh, guys my hair is telling me thank you mama only by adding this butter on my hair is a must try your yeah you all have to try this one out here so after i blend look at our is looking looking like smoothie and it smells so divine so now i will go in with my palm we are going to fry this but when you are frying guys you all know i always stress this process in love because i get sweet comment jenny my my oil gets burnt my oil get burnt can i say use it no when you are cooking you cook on a very low flame like let your flame on the lowest heat and don't allow it to cook more than 30 minutes yes because if you keep the new trend it's no longer useful don't allow it to get but when you are cooking please make sure you stay like as you can see me on the screen the main aim of me showing all this step is to teach you how to make it step by step so i like to cook for 30 minutes after you see right now when you see the bubble out like this then you are good to go off your flame then I will allow it to cool down for another 10 to 15 minutes before I proceed. So right now, I will go in with my bow and my sheet cloth. Okay, now when you come to straining the oil, lovelies, please pay attention. Make sure anything you are using is not dirty and it's not wet because you don't want to contaminate this recipe. I try not to preserve my, my recipe too much because I don't want to, I, I try to minimize the amount of uh, ash that I put on my skin. So if you make this butter the right way there's no need uh, preserving it just put inside your fridge guys make a little batch you can consume in less than a few months then you are good to go so right now i'm going to strain as you can see me do just press don't worry press and bring out all the oil you can grab your hands on and the oil guys it smells so 
good and it's so thick so here is the amount i strain now let's go into the next phase okay it's called double eat boiling method often time i get so many comments on this step out here you put water in your palm or in your pot and you put your empty bowl over there i have water it's not oil it's water okay my sweeties so now let's talk about the butters when it comes to the butter any one of your choice add a good to go me i love shea butter i love cacao butter i love mango butter i love kumkum butter i love avocado butter but normally i use shea butter and cacao butter and right now i'll go in with my coconut oil any butter you know you have your skin love your hair love just add my sweeties you are good to proceed okay you must not add the one i'm adding now I will add uh, my, my aloe vera gel to it. Don't add aloe vera juice. Add aloe vera gel, okay? Because it helps in hydrating the air and also condition our air for healthy air growth. Then I will go in with my emulsifying was. You can add your B was, but why do I, did I add, add emulsifying was to it? Because I still have some water inside my oils. And guys, emulsifying was help in bonding oil and water together. So if you know your oil has some water, I will urge you all please add emulsifying was to it to bond both water and oil together. Then I will go in now with 50 ml of my clove and spinach oil, the one I strained earlier on. Okay, now just pour into my mixture like so. Then after I pour, guys, I am going to stir allow everything to melt completely all right guys you can add preservative to it but i don't add to mine but when you are doing this double eat boiling method make sure the water is not too evaporating don't allow water to go into your butter by so doing guys it's not going to get bad like immediately okay so after i stir for some minutes you can eat right now everything has melt completely then i will take it down then i will now drop into the next phase allow it to cool down a little bit before you proceed now i'm adding my cooling face oil i will go in with 10 ml of my castor oil castor oil help it thickens darkens nourishes the air and minimize shedding and breakage promote healthy and faster air growth if you're having alopecia badness castor oil is a must have then right now i will go in with my glycerin oil help it hydrating the air and also promote moisture for healthy and faster air growth so now i will go in with all my essential oils starting with my tea tree essential oil i will add 10 drop each of my essential oils now when it comes to this one out here any one of your choice just add you are good to go the one i'm adding now is called peppermint essential oil it's called menta in the italian language but it's Permit essential oil oh i'm not too fast guys right now i'm going with my lavender oil guys the way I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to explain this is step by step because I want you all to make sure you get every step of the way. Now, you can also add preservative to yours. I don't add to mine, okay? But you can add to yours, so keep it for the longest time up to one year, depending on what you are used to preserve your butter. So, right now, I am going to cover it up because. It's still hot i will put a little pinch of oil like so guys don't skip this step if not it will fall it and water will go into your butter so right now i'll put inside the freezer for up to 30 minutes so lovely after 30 minutes that is looking right now everything is not completely hard when you are putting your butter inside the fridge it so enable it sorry the fat a little bit so when you whoop i'm not whip <laughs> It to come out creamy and fluffy so right now as you can see i'm going to use my electric mixer to mix everything together you can use your own blender to mix yours but i urge you all try get yourself electric mixer i'll put a link down below in case you want to buy it from amazon is so affordable and guys it's a lifesaver when it comes to making your own diy butter at home okay this is one i've used for the past three years and it's still working fine as you can see so right now i'm going to whip whip whoop when it comes now to the consistency lovelies you have to whoop until you get that creamy consistency okay here's the first batch now i'm going to scoop then i'm going to scoop everything around it when you know your your butter is hard you have to whoop 
auntie it become creamy i'm gonna show you something as you guys as, 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 as you are watching right now okay right now as you can tell it's not it's not creamy enough my own taste okay so what i'll do i will see whoop together this way we'll get it all wrong you have to whoop when you keep on whoop you will you not tell from the consistency if it's ready or not right now i'll whoop again for another minute there i will see try i'll scoop it to see if it's ready or not all right now guys you can tell it's ready because how creamy is looking the first time it's extremely hard now it's so creamy and it's so fluffy and this is what your butter must look like your creamy butter must look like this okay <laughs> all right so what i will do next now i will store in a clean and sterilized jar make sure the jar you are using is not dirty it's not wet and it's sterilized because you want it to last you for the longest time so right now i'm just putting my butter like so into my jar just shook shook scoop 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 we are good to proceed there's one thing that drive me that drive me like wow with this butter is the color can you tell me the color please rate this butter down below i would love to see your feedback please my sweeties eh? rate my work down below yeah <laughs> Okay, guys, so here is the final look. How can you apply? You can apply into your hair and your kids' hair three to four times weekly. Use as a pre pull out or your treatment moisturizer for your twist art, your braid art, and also my love. Let me give you a little more secret. Also good on the skin. Yes, during the winter time, guys, you need butter for your life and you know spinach is extremely good when it comes to our health our skin and also on our nails and our hair so lovely look at how my skin is looking so shiny you can apply it to your skin your kids skin and also on your end with this we come to the end of today's video god bless you all for watching if you find it useful give me a five to stress up like share subscribe it's free of charge until i will see you in the next one remain blessed and you know what Peace. I love you. Oh, cha-cha.